What happens when an aircraft runs out of fuel in the middle of the ocean? Well, this happened to one unlucky flight. Let me explain. In 2001, Air Transat Flight 236 was flying from Toronto to Lisbon when the pilots noticed a fuel imbalance in the tanks. However, unaware to the pilots, a hidden fuel leak in the right engine was rapidly draining their reserves. As they transferred fuel to correct the imbalance, it only made the leak worse, depleting their supply even faster. Over the Atlantic Ocean, the right engine failed completely, leaving the aircraft with only one engine. Minutes later, the second engine shut down, turning the Airbus A330 into a massive glider at 33,000 feet. Without power, the pilots had to rely on the aircraft's excellent gliding capabilities and a small wind-powered turbine for critical systems. Their only chance was to reach Lajes Air Base in the Azores, over 100 kilometers away. Captain Robert Pichet and First Officer Dirk de Jaeger glided the plane for 19 minutes toward the airfield. The aircraft touched down at high speed, skidding along the runway with burst tires but miraculously coming to a stop.